when you call some place to get your first gig, most likely they're gonna say, where have you been playing? So how can you get your first gig then? Video is a must. Make sure you have nice YouTube channel and then have your email script and phone script. Nowadays, you have to have a really professional looking video. If you have a band, I would try to find a bar that will let you play on their stage and you can bring the audience, bring tons of family members, friends, anyone, and you can create a video of you playing on stage with audience. If you're more of a, not, not a bar scene person, classical, quieter type music, you can call library and ask them if you can play in the lobby of the library to bring up the atmosphere. Nursing homes and assisted living places, bigger places might have a bigger setup and they might look for entertainers more. Um, if, they're, if you can find a place with a nice, nice grand piano in the lobby or something, that'd be fantastic. So you can get the you know, video of you. You can also contact churches. They often offer free concerts to the community and are looking for volunteer musicians. And don't forget to check out your local newspaper, websites, and Facebook for events and festivals. They often need entertainment. Also contact local schools with nice stage. Play for these places for free and make a nice looking video showing you are already performing out there. That will lead you to your first paid gig. A park, you know, blue sky, you know, snow, any, any wonderful like trees, greenery, you know, it's all free. And if you're a more urban type of, you know, music is what you're, you know, you offer, then you can go to like train station or some nice buildings, that type of thing. Create a video that conveys the vibe you create with your band. They are looking for not just like a great music, of course, great music's great, but professionalism. They're looking for video that conveys professionalism because if, they, if they're going to hire you to you know, perform for them, they want to make sure you are reliable. You are prof professional, you know, because not, last thing they want is for them to book you and you not show up for that event. That would be a nightmare for that person. So they're not going to just book you when you don't convey professionalism. That's as important as the music. You can have a spectacular music, but if you don't convey professionalism, you're not gonna get any job. So pretend you got that bar, you know, that will let you play for free. Make sure you are not just making a video with your phone, you know, that you gave it to your cousin. And, hey, what, you know, just take, uh, take a video of this, of my band or of me singing or something. You need a designated person or people who are taking the video. You can find someone who likes that type of thing, who has a good sense of creating a good video, somewhat artsy people. You can use your phone. You know, you can use your phone and there are newer phones that create great videos. So you can, you can have the phones, but have multiple of phones set up on a tripod or, you know, some stand or something. So it's not like this all the time. That, that would just like, ugh, that'd be horrible. So once you are done with the gig and the videos, all the videos, you need to edit them so that you convey again, professionalism because it's not just the music. I think the mo this is the most important thing in this video, professionalism. And the next thing you do is to create a YouTube channel dedicated for your music only and have like nice banners and just have, you know, hopefully you have multiple of videos and then you can do a playlist and you know, things like that. So that, you know, you can use that as your website. Of course, if you can have the website, if you have the resource to have, create a website, that'd be great. Professional looking website, you know, using like, you know, Squarespace or Wix, 
that would be fantastic but if you don't have the resource resources to do that right now at least have a really good looking youtube channel because that's free you know you can put nice pictures photos another thing that, that when you are making that video take pictures you're gonna get your gig first gig and then they all of a sudden they want your photos oh i need the fo uh, ba your band's photo um because we're gonna put it on or on or our facebook or instagram or flyer so they need that so might as well get the photos when you're taking the videos because you're all dressed up and things like that next thing that's very important is to send the link of the video the youtube link of that video via email and never attach a like raw video to an email or text or something like that because it probably won't even go through it anyway so just have clean link or links in the email now i would like you to script out an email introducing yourself and what type of music you do that's when you put that video link this is the example of things that you, I do and that video if you can make a promo video from the the video that you collect at, at a bar or park or whatever you make seriously it should be under one minute because they don't have time so they're not gonna sit down and watch you know like 30 minutes of you doing this whole concert or whatever they're not going to so highlights you know highlights of things or you know park video just a highlight of this one song that you did they just want to know who you are what you do what, how, what you sound like what you look like you know write a script out in the email then you're going to copy and paste that to many people to get the email of the person who makes a decision who has the power to hire a band or music music act you might have to some, do some digging to get their email address but nowadays it's not that hard you know you can look at their website or talk to someone and see this is what i'm trying to do could you please give me their email address you're probably not going to get a lot of response if you send out 100 emails you might get two so don't think it's your music when you don't hear back from anyone because i used to do this all, all the time too like i would just send out like one not even email when i started out like mail you know letter or something then i don't hear back from that person and you i just instantly think oh my resume was not strong enough or, you know like in your case oh my video was not good enough oh we don't sound good you know no most likely they did not even open your email let alone watch your video you know they might have opened the email and they just like glanced through it and then they saw the video link like oh i don't have time right now to open it later i'll do it later you know what i mean it happens all the time this is life so don't think it's my music don't abuse your music that way no it's not music probably so you have to stop thinking that way and you have to start thinking okay i need to follow up because they didn't get the time they didn't have they probably didn't have the time to open it yet and they probably just like you know oh i do it later and then other emails piled up and then they forgot about your email you know your videos so you want to follow up you know just to kind of remind them you're not bugging them you're just reminding them I mean, you, you, you might want to give them seven days to ten days or something and if you don't hear back from that person you want to follow up maybe with a phone call hey i you don't want to say hey hi i'm miki saito blah blah i emailed you my videos uh 10 days ago i'm wondering if you had a chance to take a look and if you're looking for uh, musicians to you know bring up 
the atmosphere on your bar or restaurant or you know coffee shop all those places that you you might think that they might be interested in your music always tell them how your music can be helpful that their problem might be people are not coming in and staying in a coffee shop or I can't book the same person every year you know I need somebody new those things are problems that they have you want to solve their problem because if you solve their problem they'll throw money at you so you know you always want to come you know put yourself in their shoes and see what can I do to help them with my music don't just say oh can you just give me uh, this gig because I need the money no not that that kind of attitude or I need to advance my career no really not not even so you want to always put yourself in their shoes and see what can I do to help you you want to build relationship it's not just like you say no right now and then it's over uh, another thing you need to do is to start a chart like you know Google chart or Google you know or um, Excel spreadsheet of all the places that you have contacted and you want to follow up using that contact you know the name the company's name email address what happened to it no response or they said this you know contact again in six months this is really hard I know this is like well I'm a musician I'm not a salesperson well if you want to do this as your business yes you are a salesperson and if you don't want to do that you need somebody who's doing that for you maybe your band member or you know maybe you want to even hire your sister or brother who might be willing to do that because this is a job this is a this is work you know this is grinding you know it's really hard you know musicians think that if I just practice you know things will just fall in my lap no it will not you have to let people know that you exist and you are doing this doing this and you are making this type of music you have to otherwise no one will find you to book you that's just you know that's just clear fact so um, so you want to write out the email script you want to write out the follow-up phone call script as well because you don't want to sound like unprofessional so most likely when you call somebody you're gonna get your vo get their voicemails that's just I would I, I've done this so many times I know I would say 80% of the time they're just gonna put you in a voicemail so you want to have a nice script because when that beep comes and your time your turn to talk you'll be like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, Mickey Saito and then, 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 then did you get to see the email that I sent like 10 days no that's not good you want to write out the things that you want to leave on their voicemail practice the script over and over so that it just falls out of your mouth not just reading you know what I mean you have to practice this just like you practice your instrument you know this is important if you want to play you need to practice this just as you practice instrument and then you want to show this to your teacher people who might be in sales you know industry that'd be fantastic if they you can get their feedback because they this that's what they do every day this is what people do it's not just you and then you know you you want to read it out and then see what do you think about this do you does it this does this uh, sound professional should I add something should I you know is this too long if you still haven't gotten any response at that point I might do one more follow-up email and say hi hi I left a message the other day and you know you can see the the original email below this email and if you can have um, the just couple of minutes to check out my videos that'd be fantastic you know and if you don't hear back from them again I might wait like three five six months or even a year 
And when you got your first gig somewhere else or something, that'd be a great reason for you to contact them again with that gig, the, the, the new gigs video. Here is what I've done, you know, since I last, you know, contacted you. Again, building relationship, such an important thing. Social media, you know, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Just you playing in a park, you know, video uh, on, on just putting that on the Facebook or Instagram or something. Just let yourself in front of people. There are so many musicians, they just uh, show up and disappear. So just to show that you're still playing, even in the same type of places or same type of music, it doesn't matter. You know, just to let them know you're still at this is such an important thing because a lot of people think that, you know, uh, oh yeah, I need to book somebody. You know, I saw that person's video like a year ago, but I haven't seen anything on social media. Maybe they quit, you know? So just to be consistent to put yourself out there is a free advertisement to let them know that you still exist. You're still doing this. It's such an important thing. I cannot emphasize that enough. Good luck. Bye.